Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. I apologize. This is my second attempt at recording this. I recorded the whole thing, and when I finished, I found out that Facebook only recorded about five or ten seconds. So we're doing it again. I remember reading a story sometimes, sometime back about a released prisoner who showed no lingering resentment from the time he had spent in prison. When he was asked his secret, he answered, I never decorated my cell. Other prisoners made their cells like home, but I never did. I was always focused on the hope that one day I would be free. What a gift hope is in our lives. This week we are looking at scripture quotes and stories about hope. Hope is the great gift of Easter, but the writer of Hebrews points out that it is more than just hope. It is an assurance. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen, he wrote. That word assurance takes it all to a different level. I remember when my father would sometimes find himself in a situation where someone didn't know he was a pastor and ask him what he did for a living. He would occasionally answer with a smile, I'm an assurance salesman. Not insurance, assurance. Our faith in Christ Jesus is the assurance we have, the comfort of a hope fulfilled, a promise we can count on. William Faulkner wrote, You cannot swim for new horizons until you have courage to lose sight of the shore. The hope we have in Christ, the assurance we have in Christ, allows us to swim for those new horizons. In her book, The Bronze Horseman, Paulina Simons wrote, Ask yourself these three questions, and you will know who you are. Ask, what do you believe in? What do you hope for? What do you love? The assurance of our loves, beliefs, and hopes tells us who we are and gives us a direction and meaning in our world. I have a book of sermon illustrations, and in a section on hope, I found this story. At the university, there was a piano teacher that was simply and affectionately known as Herman. One night at a university concert, a distinguished piano player suddenly became ill while performing an extremely difficult piece. No sooner had the artist retired from the stage when Herman rose from his seat in the audience, walked on stage, sat down at the piano, and with great mastery completed the performance. Later that evening at a party, one of the students asked Herman how he was able to perform such a demanding piece so beautifully without notice and with no rehearsal. He replied, In 1939, when I was a budding young concert pianist, I was arrested and placed in a Nazi concentration camp. Putting it mildly, the future looked bleak. But I knew that in order to keep the flicker of hope alive that I might someday play again, I needed to practice every day. I began by fingering a piece from my repertoire on my bare board bed late one night. The next night I added a second piece, and soon I was running through my entire repertoire. I did this every night for five years. It so happens that the piece I played tonight at the concert hall was part of that repertoire. That constant practice is what kept my hope alive. Every day I renewed my hope that I would one day be able to play my music again on a real piano and in freedom. We have the conviction of things not seen, of things hoped for, of a new reality to come. As he practiced daily to find the reality of playing again, So we live out our faith daily, caring for one another, serving one another, focusing our lives on God. It's a conviction. It's an assurance that tells us who we are. It tells us to whom we belong. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.